Hey guys, Billy Jenkins here with Silver Creek Doodles. Today we're here to talk about Riley and Mac and their breeding for another litter of small golden doodles. So Riley has already had one litter with us before. So we actually bred her to Leroy last time and they had a perfect litter. They only had four puppies. You know, for this next litter, we thought, why don't we use Mac if he was ready? So, you know, we had Mac a couple weeks ago come in. We did a collection. He's got the good stuff. So what we wanted to do is use them. So when they let me know that she came into heat, I was like, that's who we're using, we're gonna use Mac. So super excited about this. We're gonna have another litter of small golden doodles. So Mac is 17-ish, 17, 17, 18 pounds. And then Riley, she, she, she should be about 25, 26. Right now she's about 28. So she's a little thick, but she's just got that real nice stocky body, kind of a thing that I like. That is, she still has a small structure, she's just stocky. So a quick note about Riley. So her guardian's about an hour and a half away from me. And then Max guardian is about an hour and a half away. And it's not really lined up in the same where we could like meet in the middle or anything like that. But they both have, so both of these families that have the guardians I went to school with, or my daughters went to school with. So JP and Carrie and their family, so they have two little kids, they have Riley, so I went to school with JP. Now Mac's dad, which is Troy, he went to school with one of my daughters. So, and I went to school with, with his brother. So kind of really cool just to kind of know all of these. They've got family. So even though they're an hour and a half away, their parents are here in my hometown. So anytime I need them or anytime we like need to meet up or, you know, pick up or drop off, we kind of can work between us and the parents and, you know, spending time for the weekends and stuff like that. So when Riley come to us, it was day 12 and we kind of had to push it. I'm like, okay, we need to make sure that she's ovulating because when she comes here, we were going to have Matt come in into town too and we needed it to be the same time so we didn't waste anything you know we didn't want you know them to travel an hour and a half and it not be ready and kind of that stuff so we did a progesterone on miss riley and it was 14.15 so that means that she probably ovulated like 12 hours ago ish or the you know the same day so this was yesterday so what we did is we bred yesterday and then we went ahead and bred today. We did have to do AI. Mac is still just learning, you know, kind of getting stuff in his head, how to do stuff. But I wanted to show you just a little bit of video of them together, them playing around. And then also, you know, we got them on the bench. I will say, Riley's haircut, you know, the, the family that has her likes to keep her short. I don't blame them because I like my dog short too, but don't judge her because of her hair because this is what she normally looks like when her hair is really nice. So we've had her. She's got normal really, really nice, luscious hair, all of that stuff. So don't judge her for her short haircut, but she's still a really good girl, really sweet. But let's go ahead and show you them really fast. So this means that her due date should be about April 28th there. So April 28th, April 29th is nine weeks from when she ovulated. And then we got eight weeks from then is when they go home, which is around June 23rd. So June 23rd weekend. So as long as she gets pregnant, so we'll actually see her in about four and a half to five weeks doing ultrasound stuff like that. But as long as she gets pregnant, she'll have puppies going home June 23rd, 24th weekend. So super excited about that. Let me know if you're interested. Our wait list has kind of got a little slim. We've got litters coming up. We've got Olivia, we've got Poppy, now we've got Riley, and then Maple just came into heat today, so we'll have her bred with Mac too. They'll be about two weeks behind, but Maple's a bigger girl. She's about, I think she's around 40, 45 pounds. I don't know yet, but I'll update that when we get her, but she's just all around just a really good dog too, super calm, super relaxed, and we'll breed her with little Mac to get kind of that miniature size. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe link if it's your first time here, and we'll see you next time. Bye.